Hi there, this is Bernie, Bernie Griffiths, photography business coach with Warren McCormack from Cary, North Carolina. Okay, so um, we've come across a lot of photographers that don't know how to put the prints into these mats. So we thought we'd do this quick demonstration. This is a global image product. It's a product I recommend to a lot of my clients. Uh, top selling product? Yeah, absolutely. People love uh, this polished look. And we do this in black or white. Uh, it just looks super high end and it does really fit into a lot of different homes. Yeah, and suitable for your studio, which is very modern, very upmarket, really good. So, tell us about how you do it, Warren. So, um, basically, these mats here are already sealed up, right? So you're not going to do any self-sealing. So this is a stay flat mat. It's a stay flat mat. This is a premium product. One of the premium products. Absolutely. Um, what they're really rigid, which is a really um, kind of good part about this mat. Like if you check that out, it doesn't yeah, really bend. Yeah, and this is a self-stick mat. Mm -hmm. So we can compare the difference. Yeah, if you check this out, see how much that bends? And I do this guy. It's really going to stay there. It's going to protect the print really well. So if you're selling your products mm -hmm. a little bit more expensive, uh, mm -hmm. have a more expensive iron product like that. Yeah, and you've got, what do you call this, the blind? Blind embossing yeah. uh, for your logo. Which I just love. It doesn't really like, uh, the logo itself doesn't sh uh, show visibly all that much, which yep. is a great part of it, because you don't want that to be like, Staring just at you. like a sort of yeah. watermark, really. Yeah, it's really neat. It's not too strong. So, a um, little heads up. Um, so, when you've got your opening on the side here, it's where the print will slide down. Sometimes um, this track in here. It just shows the opening. Yeah. This is the opening here. So, that's one side is open, that's where it will slide the print, the other three sides are sealed. That's it? Yep. And then what they do is they leave like a little track in there, it's about yep. a quarter inch. So sometimes that might be a bit rigid, so you just want to run your your, uh, your print mat horn, I guess. Is what and that comes it. with the mat. It does, actually. So let's just recap on that. Um, when you buy your mat, you're going to get these little stickies, which I knew nothing about until uh, about a day ago. Um, the uh, the mat, uh, the print shoe horn here. And then, of course, you get your, your kit of mats. So what you want to do is just run this along the edge and then just kind of like make sure it's all free. And then, this is really cool. So normally what I would have done is just slide the print in. But they could actually slide back out. Yeah. So Bernie and Wendy here showed me this really cool trick. So what you want to do is use these stickies that you get in the pack. You've got to make sure it's the right side for where it's going. Yeah, definitely. So Check it's going rotation. to go this side. Mm -hmm. This side. Line it up. So that was okay. So you just peel this off gently. Okay. And what you want to do is line that up. Yep. Just get this out of the way. Put two on here on this end. Make sure the little stickies are. Uh, hanging over and nothing else, the little uh, tabs. Yeah, that's really uh, the trick to this, because that you're just gonna peel off. And then that just leaves a sticky... Um, dot. Dot, yeah. Sticky dot. A sticky dot? That's a technical term. <laughs> yeah. It's a sticky <laughs> dot. So, the idea of putting two on here is to stop it from floating either way, mm -hmm. kind of doing that little tilt. So if you get it in there, it's gonna keep it uh, in the right place. What we wanna do, let's get this guy, and he's gonna open this up. You can get it started that way. Like that. And just lay it flat. And then this is the, the trick. You can low, use- Low down's better. The lower down here, the better. And so you don't put any pressure up there. That's it. And you yeah. taught me that these new print surfaces have... The new print surfaces don't show finger marks. Which is amazing, because I've always been really yeah, careful. Yeah, I know, but they don't. So you want to just slide that guy down. And that's and all the way. Squash that down. Done. Give it a quick wipe. Now we'll put it in the sleeve. That's it. And then what I do is just turn that around. 
bits to keep it up. And then that's done, and that goes into the box, ready for the next one. Simple. Beautifully done. Just recall, you get this, you get these, but what you don't get is myself and Warren <laughs> to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.